everybody welcome to another vlog on my channel my name is Glover and of course I'm here with Graham we are in the John Forest National Park yay <laughs> one of our good friends named JL has recommended for us to come to this park I read online that there are two waterfalls here so the goal for today is to find the two of them I hope that doesn't take too long because it's already past midday <laughs> also coming to the national park there is a entry fee to get a day pass and it is $13 and surprisingly enough in this national park they accept card most of the national parks that we've been to like Yanchip and Serpentine they only have this like envelope thing where you have to put cash in it so they don't accept card but this one has like a machine in front and they only accept card or credit card debit card whatever but yeah, so that's $13. Make sure you pay $13 to help with the preservation and maintenance of the national park for everyone to enjoy. Hope you enjoy this vlog and we shall look for the waterfalls. So we're going on the Railway Reserves Heritage Trail and we are going that way to the National Park Falls and the Swan View Tunnel. The other waterfalls is the other way. So we're going that way first because there's two sites to see there compared to this way, there's only one. When hiking, also make sure you have lots of drinking water, cap, sunscreen, bug spray because it's spring right now, lots of bugs are out and about waking up from their hibernation from the winter. So this trail is called the Railway Reserves Heritage Trail because this used to be a railway. And what you saw back there was where the old train station used to be. So we've reached the first stop and it is the National Park Falls. It's so pretty. We are on a rocky surface right now. Next up is the Swan View Tunnel. So these are the early travelers of this area from the 1900s look like and look at what they're wearing guys who would want to be walking around this area in those shoes that would be so difficult one thing I'm so happy about today is because even if it's a 30 degree day there's a really nice wind or like a really nice breeze so it makes it quite cool and along the path there are also some shaded areas where you can just stand and rest for a bit and have some water Getting rock out of his shoe. We have a companion with us. Look. I wonder if he's our tour guide. Does he even know where to go? We have been walking for a while, but we finally reached the second point of this hike, which is the Swan View Tunnel. It looks scary and dark inside, but look at it, it's so pretty. It's 
standing next to the tunnel see that's the tunnel there it feels a bit strange because you could feel like cold air going through it's probably just the rocks and stuff and not being exposed to the sun and it is a long way to the other end it is kind of scary we did read a sign up ahead that says just be careful because it's like a dangerous structure risk area and then if you want to walk through just be careful because it's uneven surfaces and make sure to use a torch are we walking through if you want to i've done it before i'm actually scared but if he's done it before then i trust him i'm no, just gonna have to, i'm just gonna have to hold just on talk because it's echoey okay we won't talk because it's echoey We didn't even go halfway through. We just went like not even a quarter way. <laughs> there was a drop of water and it looked scary. <laughs> what? So we just walked back. <laughs> Such a scaredy cat. But we didn't have any more places to go further down. So if we did go through the tunnel, we would be going back anyway. And that would be like twice the scary time. So, <laughs> so the next stop we are going to go is the Hovea Falls it's the waterfalls opposite the direction that we started so we are gonna be going hiking for I don't know three four yeah. kilometers to reach Hovea Falls <laughs> let's go We have finally reached the last waterfall for today, which is called the Hovea Falls. It definitely is a much smaller waterfall than the first one that we've been to. But looking at the landscape, there's like a lot of rock and all of it seems to be sloping down. And we could, I can also see some like watermarks on it. So it could be actually possible that if there's a lot of water and a lot of rain this entire like rocky surface could actually be the entire waterfall sorry there's just a lot of flies and now we are back at the car park still lots of flies <laughs> but anyway thank you so much for coming with us and watching this video i hope you enjoyed this beautiful hiking experience, getting to see the Hovea Falls and the National Park Falls as well as the Swan View Tunnel. And we made it. High five. High five. We actually walked like six kilometers. About six and a half. About six and a half. That's a long hike, but it was an enjoyable one. Anyway, thanks so much for watching once again, and we shall see you next time. Bye. Fly, bye, fly, bye, bye. bye. <laughs>